we are in the hottest place on Earth and the lowest and driest place in North America. Welcome to Death Valley National Park. The world record for the highest air temperature was recorded at Furnace Creek in Death Valley on July 10, 1913. On our visit, it was 41 degrees Celsius, or 107 degrees Fahrenheit. But the record high was at 57 degrees Celsius, or 134 degrees Fahrenheit. The average rainfall in Death Valley is less than 5 centimeters a year, which is a fraction of what most deserts receive. The ground is so dry that it can't absorb much water. So when the occasional thunderstorm occurs, the water flows on top of the ground, causing flash floods. This intense climate is a result of the geography, which has unique features and huge changes in elevation. Especially here, in the lowest point in North America, Badwater Basin. Badwater Basin is 86 meters below sea level. This whole area used to be a lake with no outlet. So, as the lake dried up, it left behind billions of salt crystals and minerals. The areas around Badwater Basin reach great heights. For example, Sentinel Peak is located at 2,937 meters, or 9,636 feet above sea level. The tallest location in the park, Telescope Peak, reaches 3,368 meters, or 11,049 feet above sea level. There's also Dante's View. Here we are at Dante's View, which is at 1,669 meters above sea level. Behind me is Badwater Basin, which is the lowest place in North America. You can really see a difference between the elevations here. And just across the way is Telescope Peak. It's the highest point in the park, and it's nearly double the elevation that we're at right now. also other amazing places to see in Death Valley. For example, the Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes. These dunes were formed by the weathering and erosion of the Cottonwood Mountains. We also saw Zabriskie Point. And the incredible artist palette. These hills are made of volcanic deposits such as iron oxides and chlorite. Together they combine to form a remarkable rainbow effect. The desert is often overlooked when it comes to awe and beauty, but there really is a lot to see here. And it's so humbling to see these amazing created geologic features.